Welcome back to another episode of Las Colores Podcast. Uh, we are on episode 13. 13. Yeah, yes, yes. And we're just going to get right into it because we have a special, special guest. Her name is Miss Gladys. Ooh, yeah. Hello, Gladys. Hello, hello, hello. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, welcome, this welcome. Was last minute. So we were yeah. going to talk about something else, but I was like, well, Gladys is here and we've been wanting to talk about yeah. this one topic that is sensitive, but mm. I believe a lot of women and guys um, could could um, could relate, could relate and, and maybe learn something, learn something just, just because they have a, maybe they have a wife, they have a, a sister, sister, a mother, mm-hmm. an aunt that could benefit from listening to yeah just listening yeah. i've known gladys for a long time long and i time. asked her long the other, time oh i actually met up with her yesterday yes and we went for a walk I, we got my exercise we we got we, our exercise we. but i hadn't exercised in a while and she outdid me and she's pregnant so <laughs> and i'm pregnant, pregnant and i'm like wobbling like this <laughs> yeah usually that walk is like well an hour for me but we did like an hour, an and, hour 45. and a half yeah yeah an hour and a half something like that yeah it mm-hmm. was good. And then the baby slept throughout the whole thing. The baby. Oh, you guys push you push him on the stroller? In the stroller, yeah. So that yeah. was a workout. Okay. Yeah. Maybe yeah. It's hot outside. And it was hot, yeah. So but we were we did sweating. It. We did it. By the time we got home, we were sweating. Yeah. <laughs> he was sweating. I love he was sweating too. <laughs> yeah. So we, yeah, we've known each that other Georgia for a long heat. time. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But where are you now? I'm in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Central Jersey. It does exist. Central Jersey. There's this thing that there's only north and south, but there is a central Jersey. Oh, yeah. yeah. And New Jersey's like this big. Yes, yeah. <laughs> compared to Georgia. Yeah. yeah, it is. So we've known her for a long time, and she has. Yep. Uh, she's she has her journey, and she's she's experienced some things that only certain women have gone through. Yeah, and are going through. But um, she mentioned that she had that we went for a walk with her baby. And that baby mm-hmm. is a miracle. Miracle yeah, baby. Like yeah. a really big Heaven miracle. Heaven sent. Yeah. Nine oh. years of waiting. He is a Nine true years. miracle. Wow. Yeah. A true, true Nine miracle. Nine years of trying. And trying. A long journey, but yeah. God provided. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember when um, when we we were all in the same church once upon a time. Yeah, so that's where we met, right? Yeah. We met at church. <gasps> yeah. We met at church. And um, I think, I remember you were 25, 26. That's the age I'm, that I remember you. I think, yeah. 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 So yeah. I remember at that time, um, she had mentioned, you had mentioned um, that you, well, I don't want to say, but uh, you had mentioned um, not at, not exactly when I first, first met you, but like a little bit after you did had mentioned that you wanted a child. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I know. I know that you went through some in IVF, IVF, yes. IVF, yeah. and then finally you have baby Eli. Baby Eli. Yes, Eli Alexander Martinez. Mm-hmm. I love little, that. Our little, I love Alexander. Our little, our little man. Alexander. But yeah, um, it was a long process. I mean, I think I've always wanted a child, like you know, growing up, um, and it just you know you think, oh, we're gonna go ahead and start trying. There's um, a why? And it was, I think, August. 2014 and we said okay like you know stop the birth control what so forth because we didn't want to try we wanted to get a house settle you know the whole like dream settle down and stuff and so we're like okay we'll start trying and you know just naturally thinking oh it'll happen like nothing right yeah and nine years later nine years later, nine years later. yeah so we had to do the whole um ivf process it took five rounds uh wow. five um transfers to ivf cycles so it's a whole process it's a whole process a whole roller coaster of emotions yeah. expensive because insurance won't pay for it so mm. it's a lot oh my it's god it's a lot but yeah that's we right. have him so it's all worth it all the ultrasounds the injections the blood work yeah, yeah. all worth it so i heard is it true ivf is like super painful you have to like inject yourself right yeah so um i wouldn't say well i guess yeah the, the shots are you have to get um uh, shots in your bum so it's like the mm-hmm. long needle um so my husband would have to do i'm like at, after the end he was a pro at the injections because mm-hmm. it's hard to like give them yourself right um but yeah those are painful because they're deep it has to go in the muscle because it's a progesterone it's like an oil it's thick okay. um 
and if you don't get the right spot, it's it's painful. Oh gosh, pain. Yeah. Oh my god. Um. Okay. So I'm just really curious because I know, like, with IVF, um, I've heard a lot of like testimonies, a lot of stories where they get pregnant, but um, the implantation happens, mm -hmm. but the it's a fetus at that time, right? And they call it an embryo. Oh, the but, embryo. That's mm -hmm. right. And then it becomes the fetus. And then it becomes. Yeah. So the embryo. Did did that happen at any point? Did, were you was like did you get pregnant at any point before Eli? Yes. So we had two miscarriages. Two miscarriages. Prior to um, Eli, we had two miscarriages. The first one I was five weeks, and then the second one I was seven weeks. Seven weeks. So okay. they were early on, but I mean, to us, they were still our kids. So yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. Oh no, that's super hard. Um, yeah. I actually so when we. A lot of people actually really don't know this, but yeah, I was gonna say this is the first time Red's. I don't I'm even gonna know if share. You know this, yeah. This I don't. Yeah, I don't know if time. I told you this. No. But I um. So when we got married, um, we we did want to have. We both wanted kids early on, so we we you know we tried, and mm -hmm. we, I actually got pregnant. Like we tried once, and that one time, um, we stopped using production, and I I got pregnant, um, and I was pregnant December two years ago, um, and I told. The, the thing I messed up too, because I didn't know miscarriages were, were that mm -hmm. common. Like mm -hmm. a lot of females have miscarriages and they don't even know. They just think that they had like a really heavy um, cycle. Yeah. yeah, heavy period. So I was, I got pregnant in November and then I shared it to my family like at eight weeks. Um, mm -hmm. But then when we went to go hear the heartbeat, they told us the heartbeat was really low. It was like 108. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm getting like really emotional. Yeah, um, I was gonna say, go ahead and grab your box of tissues because yeah. yeah. I should have brought them. Because yeah. no, it is. I think you know it's such a vulnerable moment to yeah. share, and I think that's why, like you know, for me in in sense it's, or with my experience, it's a testimony. You know, because like a, I believe it's not something that it's talked about, and even at work, it's mm -hmm. like you just lost, you know, the baby, and it's like, oh, you've never met this child, but the attachment and the love is already there yeah already but there. it's like okay you had a miscarriage well you have to go back to work and act like nothing happened yeah. exactly. and that's hard it's that's hard right. to move on when you're going through something you know so how do you say so like intimate yes and you have, so like, profound these illusions like, yes. yeah and you already like you're imagining yeah. like you know is it going to be a boy is it going to be mm -hmm. a girl who's it going to look like you know you're making all these ideas in your that's head right. in your mind and then all of a sudden it's just it snatched away yeah. and like with okay. us with our second miscarriage um you know same thing we got because again our journey's been so long and everybody knows our journey because yeah. i i've been pretty open about it again because i feel like it's god's it's my testimony for those mm -hmm. and not just sometimes even people that are going through like you know infertility but people who are going through anxiety depression you know because right. it's it's what's in part with that but just sharing like you know sometimes you know you're at the darkest valley and what so forth and right. you know but um with our second miscarriage we went in and um we got further along we got to see the heartbeat and yeah. then it's coming back you know that week after and saying like you know there's no longer a heartbeat, no longer a heartbeat. yeah and that's like you know what do you do it's like you're so excited and then you tell people and you tell family members yeah. and they're like we're pregnant like you know we heard the heartbeat and then it's like there's no longer a heartbeat like you know right. it's hard yeah. Oh, yeah it's super hard so you went in um, to go um see the heartbeat yeah so oh sorry so sorry we i cut you off no no no, no, no. <laughs> please at any point please cut us off um yeah we went to go see the heartbeat at eight weeks um but they told us it was low it was like 109 which early on it should be really high right yeah. it should be like 150 160 i believe yeah. um and it was really low it was like 109 i think i honestly don't recall but I remember her, her telling me, like, you know, you could still miscarry. Um, oh. So don't tell anybody until 14 weeks, 12, 14 weeks. But, you know, we were, like, declaring and we were, you know, we were like, you know, this is mm -hmm. God wouldn't have allowed me yeah. to get pregnant, you know. Yeah. Um, and so we did, like, it was New Year's and um, no, it was Christmas. And we told um, we gathered our families together mm -hmm. um, and then we had like a little gift and we told them we were pregnant. And then the following week, which was New Year's, um, I think we were we were actually at your house. We were playing. That's when I told my cousins. Well, two of my cousins that yeah. that we were pregnant. They were in town. Um, and then I went to the restroom and I, I, I saw like I started to get like some spotting. Mm -hmm. and I was like, hmm, you know, maybe. But I had heard that that could be the implantation, the implantation. Right. 
Um, so I was like, okay, it's, it was, you know, very light, but then that night it, it got heavier. And then something in my heart, like something in my spirit told me like, like, you know, like there was almost yeah. like a confirmation in my heart, yeah. like, okay, you know, this is happening. Um, so, but me and Brian were praying and then he even told me like, put your sleep with your legs up. And in the morning, if you're still bleeding, I'll take you to the hospital. And then in the morning, um, I told I saw my mom and I told her, and then I just, I just busted out crying. I was just like, like, I already knew. Yeah. Um, so then we it's went like to the hospital. Heart knew. Yeah. My heart knew. Yeah. We went to the hospital and then, yeah, they told me there's no longer a heartbeat. So that, that broke me down. And I, I would consider myself like an emotionally strong person, but that, like, I don't think, it doesn't matter how strong you are like that. Yeah, you're never no. going to get over that. Yeah, no. Um, and even now having Eli, like, you know, it's still those moments you wonder, like, you know, what would, you know, right, they be yeah. like or what so forth. Like with our first loss, it was same thing. Um, I was telling Blue yesterday, um, the night before I lost him, I bled. Um, but I had a dream that I was bleeding, like that I went to wipe and I was bleeding. Oh, wow. And so that next day, um, me and my husband, we had gone to Whole Foods and I came home and I felt something. And I was like, okay, let me go to the bathroom. Maybe I'm like peeing myself or what's before. Mm -hmm. And I wiped and I was bleeding. Yeah. And then it just... They kept on. Yeah. And like, you know, some people say, excuse me, same thing. Maybe the implantation. And I'm like, no, like my heart, same thing. Yeah. It's like I had a feeling. I'm like, no, this is like, yeah. and then the bleeding just wouldn't stop. And yeah. I think at that moment, like I passed. And then, you know, you call and they're like, oh, well, just relax. Put your legs up, you know, drink water, what so forth. And I'm yeah. like, they're like, you know, it might still be OK. And I'm like, in my heart, I knew yeah. it wasn't OK. Right. But, right. Um, did I, you? Oh, um, sorry. No, go ahead. Um, did you? When you first got married, did you know that you guys were going to have trouble getting pregnant? Or no. Or was it something that... No, not at all. I mean, I think all along I wanted kids. We were kind of like, I would be like always like, oh, I want three. He'd be like, oh, I want one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think in my head, like, you know, I wanted to have them early on. I was like 26, have my first, 28, have my, like, you know, second right. and 30. And I'm like, here, I'm 37 and just my first, so... Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not something I had at all. Like, you know, and you think some people, and especially me as a nurse, you know, you've heard stories like girls like, oh, I missed my birth control one day and I got pregnant. So I thought like, you know, it was just something yeah. so yeah. natural and it was yeah. just going to happen like, you know, easy. Lot easy. Yeah. yeah. So and lot now harder. that like, you know, you know, it's so much more that entails and that goes into it. That's so, right. God, it, it really is a miracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've said it. I've said it before. There aren't a lot of, for me, this is. Ladies, I told you yesterday yeah. that where I am now, I don't, yeah. I'm very different to what, how I used to think, but I I say there's not a lot of miracles in this world, but baby making, that's a real miracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a, like, you can't explain that. How yeah. do you, that's And especially crazy. going through IVF and the whole process that it takes, like, yeah. it literally has to be like perfect timing, perfect. Uh, yes. Like your, you're your ovulating. hormones, you're ovulating the like implantation, the, the uterus, the thickness of the, like, it's just so much that entails that like, yep. it has to be perfect. It has, it has to, to be, be God. So, exactly. It has to be God. like even your environment. Yes. Um, in there, like everything, it you just can't has be to be, yes, it has right. to be perfect. That's right. And, That's right. Mm -hmm. and uh, like, I would say like thinking about it now, going back to that time, I was very stressed with work. Um, you know, we didn't even have our house yet. So honestly, like it would be too hard for us to have to like raise a child. So yeah. I honest, I really believe like God's timing is perfect. It's perfect. And, um, yeah. and Look, now we have baby Madrid and Eli. Um, well, I'm not going to, I'm a mom now, thank God. But for you to how soon did, did y'all know you wanted to be a mother? Like well, she's, what? she wanted to be a mom. Since she was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Did you yeah. always want Like, to be always. Mom? Even before I was married. Like, I knew I yeah, wanted, wanted kids. To be a, yeah. 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 Well, what about you? I feel like I didn't really start thinking about it until I met Brian. Like, when we mm -hmm. fell in love, I was like, oh, I, want a, I want a child with so, this man. <laughs> hold on. Before, you weren't thinking of it. I, I don't think I was really thinking about kids. Mm -hmm. I never said, like, oh, I want kids right away. I did, when I married Brian... I always said, like, I want to be, like, a young mom, a hot young mom. And that's uh, what you are. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I'm older than than I look. <laughs> yeah, on the, I always tell my friends, like, on the Mexican timeline, I should be on, like, my third, fourth child. Yeah, we should have popped oh. five out by And now. see, that's yeah. what I was, like, you know, what was my expectation? Like, you know, you, you're, like, too old for this. Like, yeah, you know, right. I'm almost in my 40s, and this is my first kid. Mm -hmm. And I want more. So, um, but we'll see. You'll you know there was, like, a new statistic that said, like, 
women that are like closer to 40s that have their babies or like closer to live to 100. No way. Yeah. Well, then, hey. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to 45. It's like your chances of living is like 40% like higher. Longer. Higher. What? Really? Good. I That's wonder why. why that is. Like right. what? I'm I guess it's a like, lot of like energy yeah. too. It's like such like a, like a big workout because you, you have to have. Like, yeah. Oh, that's true. Probably. Maybe. Is that a new thing? That's true. Like, how new is that? I don't know. I just seen it like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> but that's do you want to have, you said you want to have more kids. I do. So we still have two embryos more. Um, so we're hoping to give those a chance. You have two oh, embryos. Well, two embryos. Frozen. Left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two frozen embryos. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. Oh, that's exciting. Do you, Wait, do, do these... Pause, pause, pause. Do you already know if it's going to be like boy or girl? I was going to say the same no, thing. No. So you do have the chance of like testing them and then they can tell you what they are. But I'm like... I want them regardless. They're my kids. Yeah, regardless. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you win but you way. can Whatever yeah, God you can you. like test them and then they can tell you the sex and if they have like any um genetic abnormalities and then that way they won't transfer them. Okay. But I'm like, regardless, they're my kids. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. What what if what if you wanted twins? Can can they do that? So too? certain practices like the mm. one we went to, they won't only do one tra- okay. one egg, one embryo at one a time. One pair of twins? No, no, one, one embryo. embryo. So oh, they won't, because they okay. say you're at a risk of potentially, because it could split, and then you could end up with twins. Okay. I guess just because of all the hormones and stuff, you're mm-hmm. at a higher chance of potentially getting Having twins. twins. Yes. Yeah, I've heard mm-hmm. that. Awesome. Oh, and now with the little guy, I'm like, I'm okay. It's with one, yeah, <laughs> when I see like TikTok videos, I'm like, I don't know how these twin moms do it. I say the same thing. And when I'm is, like, when how, how do you all do it? Because I'm like, I only have one and, you know. <laughs> and I'm not I'm sleeping. I'm like, help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sleeping. I'm okay. You know, like one eye open. That's right. Yes. Brown and I, we saw how, how we went through it. You know, we saw how you, your emotions. Yeah. And yeah. we saw how strong you wanted to be, but. You know, in those moments, it's okay to be to say like I'm not okay. Like, yeah. But I think I, it's I, hard. Um, sorry. I no, no, no. I think it's hard because you want to be strong, or at least for me, you mm-hmm. want to be strong. You're like, okay, like you know, and at least with me, for example, like you know, we have faith. So you're like, okay, God, like you know, why? And especially with right. me, our journey being so long, mm-hmm. you're like, why? Why give me a positive pregnancy test to then take it away? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So you question, it's like, you know, am I not worthy? Am I not worthy of being a mom? Mm-hmm. And it's like, why? And then you hear like, you know, in the news, mom's killing their kids or what so forth. And I'm like, I'm right, here girl. desiring, a pleading, child. like, you know, for a child. Yeah. And other people are like, you know, murdering the child or not right. wanting, getting an abort. Like, you know, just so many things. And it's like, I'm wanting one. Like, you know, right. why? 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 Yeah. why me? Yeah. But every time I would see your instagram posts like they would i i would always get like so hyped when i would see them because they were never like you were never like blaming god or there was one point where when i had the miscarriage i was like i kept asking like you know like why god like why me i'm healthy i i thought well because wait did you they you you can test to find out why you had a miscarriage right um no because a lot of the times it just happens either like you know the uterus was there's just so many there's so many possibilities right um so I, I always thought like, oh, no, a miscarriage could, you know, that could never happen to me. You know, yeah. I'm young. Yeah. I'm healthy. Um, mm-hmm. I work out. I eat. I eat a good diet. I have a good diet. Um, but when I would see like your posts, they were always like so inspiring. And yeah. then when I finally saw that you were pregnant. Yeah. How, how far along were you when you posted it? Um, it took me a while to post. Because I, I, again, I because that. we wanted to make sure that we were okay or what they call like the safe zone yeah. before we started telling anybody. Because again, we told people so early on right. and then we had to go back and tell them like, Ugh. oh, no, we no longer were pregnant. So we waited. I think. We were like 16 weeks at that point. Yeah. When we when we said. Right. Yeah. And then when I saw that I was like, "Guys, Gladys is pregnant." We were all hyped, but Blue already knew. Yeah. She I had told known. her because yeah. um she was <laughs> I was on my lunch break when you told me. You were. I was, I was screaming. So, I was so happy. Yeah. I was like I like told commenting her. Like we crazy. had a a moment and so I told her 
She's yeah. been an interceder for little Eli. Has, so yeah. yeah. So I I shared with her, and that's why I was like, I want you to meet him. I want the girls to meet him. Yeah, he's so because adorable. He's so, so cute. He's so cute. Yeah, he's super cute. Oh, and he was acting fine a few minutes ago because la suegra. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait <laughs> a minute. He's, on his he's a little older. He's like two weeks older than Madrid, I believe. Yeah. Oh. And he was giving me the eyes. He's like, hey. <laughs> he's like, you didn't I, bring her. Girl? What happened? Yeah, where's your girl? Where's your girl? Ay, pero see, he's he's a really cute. He's boy. super. Cute yeah. and yeah. super chill. Yeah, and super all babies have like great eyelashes. Yeah. They do. He does, and they curl naturally. I'm like, yeah, wait, what naturally. about us? They're not mine. Oh, <laughs> right. How did how did y'all feel when when finally you are confident that the baby's good, healthy, and the baby's here to stay? Like, how did y'all how did y'all feel? Mm. Did at, like in this this time around where y'all like. Can't can't uh, show that I'm too happy, yeah. or I yeah. can't be too excited, or should I share this? Or yeah. oh yeah. well, well, this is gonna be like a game for me. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I remember when you told us <laughs> about um this when you were pregnant. Yeah, oh my one. god, I'm about to cry. <laughs> When Brown's when, about to cry, she, she laughs. laughs. She's like, "Have y'all seen the Joker movie? Yeah, where right. he wants to cry and he laughs. That's for crap. real, that's me." <laughs> uh. Yeah, we we did wait longer this time, and I didn't make like a big deal. I just Brown and my mom came over one day, and then yeah, we, but I think you were like seven weeks. Yeah, no, I was like eight weeks. I remember. I was, like, yeah, eight. you were like I remember you were like hit, you were cooking, you were cooking, and you were like, guys, I miss my period, and I don't want to get too excited. No, oh, no, <laughs> you're making me cry. Yeah, because it was. I remember she was just like, I don't want to get too excited. I don't want to get my hopes up. And I think that's, like, it's sad to think that, like, you can't get your hopes up because it's already happened, you know? Right. And a lot of women, they get so excited, and then they get their hopes up, and then they get this terrible news, and then they have to tell everybody, like, hey, this happened, you know, like, I'll try again in whatever, however many months. And I feel like I was happy that you told us because you brought us into, like, the journey with you. Yeah. And I feel like so many women are like, no, no, I, I can't tell anybody. Like, I'll just mm -hmm. tell my husband, like, it'll just be between us. And then in the safe zone, like, then we can tell people. Right. But w was it, like, easier to tell people the second time, the third time? Like, like well, to... Well, for me, mm -hmm. I did, I decided, me and Brian decided, well, he wanted me to make an appointment early on. Yeah. Um, but I, I was like, I'm, I'm going to wait as long as I can. I'm not going to get my hopes up, yeah. um, but I'm going to be praying. Yeah. Um, I didn't get my hopes up. I didn't want to. You didn't want to get your hopes up? No. Yeah. No, I That's didn't. Hurtful. I didn't want to go through that heartbreak again. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, but we waited and mm -hmm. then Brian, we actually went for our one year anniversary trip to Colombia and his cousin is a ultrasound tech. So they were like, oh, I was super nauseous when we went to Colombia. Like I did not enjoy that trip because I was just super sick. Um, and then I had to apologize to the cousins. I was like, sorry, guys, I actually haven't had my period. Um, so I'm starting to feel really nauseous now. And they're like, wait, what? You might be pregnant? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, come come to the office. Come to the clinic. I want to do, like, your first ultrasound. So he went, you know, he went in there. And then he saw, like, the, I guess, the bag. He's like, I don't know, guys. I see a little something there. But even oh, then, so we still didn't you get our still, hopes up. Yeah. We, I still didn't want to get my hopes up. I was like, you know, anything can happen. Yeah. Um, and then when we went home. Like a week later, Brian's like, okay, I, I need you to make the appointment now. So then we did, but I was already like 10 weeks yeah. pregnant at that, yeah. at that point. And then we went and then they told me that there was like a blood clot growing next to the bag. Mm -hmm. So that we had like a little scare. And then she's like, uh, you know, don't lift anything heavy. Don't be doing, you know, any high and in like intensity um, workouts or whatever. Um, and then Take um, it easy, I'm going to send saying. you to a specialist, a high risk specialist. Yeah. So we went. And then the that whole week, like it was for like two weeks, we were praying. And then um, there was like a revival at this church. And mm -hmm. we went and we were just declaring and believing. And there was like a stillness. Like there was a peace in my heart where yeah. I was like, the blood clot is going to go away. It's going to get, because um, it'll like absorb itself absorb. or mm -hmm. it'll come out. Um, but ne it, the, the, it didn't come out any, at any point. Um, and then two weeks later, we went to the specialist and she's like, congratulations you guys graduated there's no more blood clot oh, and uh, awesome. you can go on with your pregnancy like normal and literally we we both yeah. just in that office me and brian just busted crying yeah. and we we're just thanking god but after that then at the we made it official um to like 
to the social media world um, at like like 20 oh, weeks. Yeah, I don't know how no one knew you were pregnant. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, I wasn't really showing like, too much, so I was playing it off with like oversized. You're like five months pregnant. Yeah, it was pretty far yeah. along. And, and then we had a gender reveal yeah. that same day. So. <laughs> no, I knew it, it was real for Red when when she sent a, sent us a text message from Columbia. She's like, y'all, I don't know what to do with all this power in my boobs. They're just... Oh, they're yeah. Big. Yo, my boobs were <laughs> super big. And sensitive. I, yeah, super yeah. sensitive. I told my friend that. I was like, I don't know what to, do what to do with all this attention. And my friend, my guy friend, he's like, well, you know, like, take advantage. You know, like, <laughs> aprovecha. Hey, hey. Yeah, ask your husband for things. <laughs> Hey. But you know what now, like, and with the milk in, and I'm like, I'm like wanting to cover, like, it's too much. Yeah, like, you're too saying. Much. And I'm like, it's very yeah. provocative. I'm like, I don't know how these other girls do it. Like, I mean, they look amazing, but I'm like, <laughs> wow. What For us new girls. girls. Yeah. Too, 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 much, too much. Too yeah. much. Too much. <laughs> okay. What well, question? Okay. So the question was, um, uh, like, once you, once you did realize you were like officially pregnant, how did you feel? Mm. Honestly, I think for me, just because our journey was so different and so much longer, every time we would go to the ultrasound, I guess my expectation was something was going to happen. I guess because you've been through it. And again, with IVF, like I knew I was pregnant the week after we did the transfer. So he's like what, um, I think like six weeks so you know, you know, like really early on, yeah. Um, how how far along you are, um, and so just like I felt like every time we went to the ultrasound, it was like I was waiting for the bad news, like because yeah. again, you just you go through so much heartbreak, and again, it's I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to get so excited, and so and honestly, I think once I had him in my arms, I was gonna say that. that was like okay. That's when you rest. That's yeah. when it was like okay, this is it, you know? And like, and also before that, like once you get to feel him kick or for me feeling him kick and I'm like, okay, he's okay. And those moments I was telling Blue yesterday when he wasn't moving and I'm like, oh my God, you know, something happened. And I think he knew and he would move. He'd be like, mama, I'm here. And I was telling her, we even got a Doppler, like the baby Doppler, just to like make sure. And I'm like, he's okay. Yeah. It's it's just a reassuring. And something similar to like you, we had a placental tear. So we had to go to the hospital. I was bleeding. And this was 17 weeks. I thought I was going to lose him, you know, because I woke up and blood was just dripping down my leg. And that was my first thought because that's how we lost our first baby. I was bleeding. And I was like, and my husband, he got the Doppler and he, he's like, the heartbeats there yeah and i was like okay it was just like a little stillness of relief right until we went to the hospital and stuff and they're like he's perfectly fine he's chilling in there oh, they're like what are you having yeah. and i'm like a oh, boy they're like yep he's already starting with you mom oh. <laughs> mm. that's oh, eli for you yeah, yeah. that's kind of how i felt when i would go to the ultrasounds as well <laughs> i would get so scared because like you're almost like expecting like bad news you know yeah. which is it's so heartbreaking mm-hmm. because like you you want to enjoy your pregnancy, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, but I was kind of the same. Like until I had her in my arms. Well, not not exactly, but but I like once I had her in my arms, I was like, okay. It, but it, once they put her like on me, it took me a minute to realize like this is my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> like it didn't click. Yeah, I don't know. It was just yeah. We saw the video. Yeah, we were like, oh, that's right. Like, that's oh, right. Oh, and she was like, oh. And then it's just, like, just quickly it's like the it. shock and the relief all at yeah, once. All at once. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, pregnancy is beautiful. No, it's crazy how how a little person that you have not met can break your heart. Yeah, yeah. you've yeah. never met this person and they broke your heart. They left yeah. and they broke your heart. Yeah. You didn't even meet this person. I'm like, yeah. I can't wait to have him and meet them. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know of you, but for example, for us, we named them. So oh, our yeah. first one, um, I prayed, and I'm like, you know, I didn't want to pick a name because I'm like, I don't know if it was a boy or a girl, right. um, but. Um, our pastor, um, she had told us, it kind of brings you a little bit of a closure. So I prayed about it, and I felt like God uh, led me to the color blue. So I was like, oh, it's a boy. And I was listening to a sermon, and I heard um, he was talking about the Levites. And he said, like, you know, Levi means stuck. And I was like, well, he was our first embryo that stuck. So we named him Levi. Aww. And then our second one, we did find out, um, because we I had to do a DNC, because we were further along and it was a girl and she had um she had a trisomy 13 so it was incompatible with life so she wasn't going to be able to make it 
And so I told my husband, well, you know, now that we know it's a girl, we want to name her. And he just came out with the name Leah. And when I looked it up, it meant delicate. And I was Mm -hmm. like, because she was too delicate for this earth, God took her. That's beautiful. Yeah. Levi and Leah. So when we get to heaven, we'll get to meet them. Can I steal that name? I don't have it. (laughs) Just want my baby. (laughs) No, but that is a beautiful name. Well, you were waiting longer. You've been wanting this for so long, and then you got married right away. You knew you wanted to be a mother, like Mm -hmm. a young mom. Um, How would you? How did you feel when you would see everyone getting pregnant? And then, and you're the, you're like my time. um, It's hard. It's hard because I think you know you're like, and especially for like me again. I'm 37 now and having my first kid. Like all my friends, like you know. They've had their kids. They're like 10 years old or Mm -hmm. even like, you know, my sister, like like they're big and I'm like just starting. So it's hard because you're like, again, you question why me? Like, Mm -hmm. why is it taking me this long? Like, what have I done or why don't I deserve? Like, you know, it's just it's so many things. And I think the enemy comes and he like, you know, he tries to steal that peace and that joy and Mm -hmm. everything to to put you in that. And those emotions, like, you know, and you're wondering. But, again, God has a plan and a purpose. Mm -hmm. We might not understand Mm -hmm. that at the moment, but, again, his timing is perfect. Absolutely. When you had that miscarriage and you would hear other women talk about it, did you feel, like, comfortable with, like, if you knew somebody that went through that, would you, did you, um, did you feel like you were, like, you had an obligation to say something? Like, like, Mm -hmm. oh, I want to share my story. Like, oh, about, oh, sorry. I had like a brain. <laughs> like a brain oh, question. sorry. No. Um, like, did you and those obligated? still exist after. It's not just during pregnancy. You get postpartum brain too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mommy brain. That's yes. what they call it. Yeah. Yes. Um, no, I actually, once it happened, there was a friend who told me something that made me a little bit more like at peace with it. She told me um, that there's nothing you can do to like, there was nothing you did wrong. Mm-hmm. There was nothing you could do to stop this. Um, yeah. So that made me a lot more comfortable. And then finding out that it was actually, like, more common, it made me more open and willing to share. So um, then again, we didn't tell too many people. But when there's somebody else who has gone through it, you know, I feel like I can I can relate and I can actually, like, you know, kind of help them, encourage them. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. And then, you, and again, you never, you never think um, you're, you're going to be the one going through yeah. it. Yeah. Like, growing up, you know, yeah. as a little girl – I, I don't know about every woman, but I know for the most part, a lot of us, a lot of us women, we do, you know, have that, that, um, that imagination, like, oh, I can't wait to have my baby. Even mm-hmm. like, even as gro- like five-year-olds, you have your Barbie, yeah, you know, you're already yeah. playing with your baby, a baby doll or something. That's right. And then you're already imagining this is, this is natural. This is going to happen at some point. This is my uh, duty as a, as a woman, you know, and then. Um, and then you don't, you don't get that. I'm, I'm sure that's hurtful. And then you're hearing all these women talking about it. So normal. Like you said earlier, like these young girls, they just get pregnant. Como si nada. And then for us, you know, as we get older, it is a little bit more tougher. It, yeah. Is, yeah. it is a little bit more challenging. Yeah. And then you see, um, all these women that are just casually getting um, pregnant and then y'all are like, we are left behind. Like why, why haven't we got pregnant? Yeah, it's hard. I I believe it's hard, you know, especially when you're going through it, you know, and when you're waiting and Mm -hmm. waiting and waiting and still waiting, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. When, uh, well, I'm going to say something about myself, but when I got pregnant, um, the, we hadn't told anybody that we were, that I was pregnant, but I did spot the first three months and that's the most scariest thing ever. And the first time that I spotted, I was at Kroger. And I felt like pressure on my hips. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. This is how it feels like when I'm about to get my period. Mm-hmm. So I, I left the cart right there, like in the middle of the aisle. And I went to the, to the restroom and I saw some spots. And you, you can cut. Your, your heart drops, right? Your yeah. heart drops like crazy, like, like a big bowling ball just hits your stomach. Yeah. And, and I, I was like, I was so mad. I was like, I, I cleaned myself. And then I see spots and I'm like, what the? F-? And, I, and I threw I think the lady next to me was like got scared, but I did throw the 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 toilet paper at, in the toilet. And I was so mad. I was like, man, you know, like 
that's not fair. Why? And then the next day, I re- okay, it was gone. But it's normal at the beginning to spot. But yeah. I am 33 weeks pregnant. By bi- I, I don't know what a miscarriage is, so I don't know how that feels. But I'm pretty sure like that one time that I got so mad at Kroger, I... I can kind of relate. I can, I can understand a little bit about what miscarriage is, but I can also, no, I'm gonna cry. But I can also, um, um, I, I can, I can also say how it feels for um, so, somebody that's <laughs> that wanted to get pregnant, like second year. You know, Victor and I were just four, four years. We're about to be four years. Um, married but you know that's still so so um eh, we're still you know new to marriage i guess a little bit but i know how it feels like you see everybody pregnant and you see everybody's like oh i'm getting pregnant you know we're this we're five months six months you know and you're like i really thought i was gonna get pregnant on my second year you know i really thought that and i think jealousy like you know you don't want to admit it because you kind of feel guilty for feeling that shame for feeling that but you get jealous. You have envy because yeah. you're well, like, yeah. I wish that was me. I wish you that know? was me. I wish that was like, you know, and you get these news. And sometimes like for me, like you would get invited to baby showers. And yeah. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. a gender I don't want to go like, you know, because you're and, and like and sometimes it would be through like our miscarriages. And I'm like, I just had a miscarriage. Like I can't mentally I'm not there yet like you yeah. know and I think it's okay to say you know what it's okay step away yeah. and I would always get happy because I'm like you know I would never wish what we went through that long of a journey for any woman because yeah. it's hard mm-hmm. it is really hard right. and I would always be excited but sometimes it's okay to give that space you yeah. know we need we need that space yeah. you know and I and I would hate it when people would be like um when are you gonna have kids? When are you gonna have kids? Oh my god! Please don't yeah, ever ask I, that. Don't ever. ever ask that. That's so. That's, that's the such dumbest a stupid question. question. I've yeah. learned a lot. I, I would hear people ask you that, and I'm like, <gasps> or blew that, and I'm like, mind your own business. Like yeah. they'll have babies when they want when or they, when they can. And it's know? hard, and especially when you're going through a journey for so long, and they're like, you guys are like, for us, we've been together 16 years, and they're like. Are you guys ever going to have kids? Do so you guys you not want kids? Like, you know? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, and even when we had our miscarriages, they would be like, well, at least you got pregnant. And it's like, that's not what you want to hear. Like, you know, it it's just sometimes it's just pregnant. all these comments. Yeah. It's like, you don't, it's was, not what you say. I was actually yeah. going to ask you guys, like, for for family, like, when you were going through that, I didn't know what to say. Like, I didn't know what to do. I'm not like a person of like many words. Like, mm-hmm. I can't really comfort you like with words, but I can be there with you um what what would you say that was like something that was like super helpful like Mm. for family or friends that really encouraged you like okay maybe like you said that the girl had said to you there's nothing you could have done yeah um that it was your fault right 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 what's something that warmed like you you could like okay no no or yeah something that helped you um go through it and what's something that you guys could like advice Give right. advice. Give advice to like to family and friends. Like, like what's well, the right thing to say that to somebody that's yeah, going through Yeah, what's something it? that you like the sweet words <laughs> that you were like, okay, or sweet like This is gestures. what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Something that really helped you like go through it. Like, okay. Ooh, I, I see what you're yeah. saying. I think like what you said, sometimes it's not even words because there's not I don't think there's anything that you could really say yeah. that will ever take the pain away. But sometimes it's just having someone there to comfort you. Yeah. To listen to you. Or just, you know, all you do is cry and then, you know, just somebody to to be there, you know, for you. Mm-hmm. Um and again for family members or friends, again, it's just those quite like, you know, well at least you got pregnant or at least we know you can get pregnant or like, you know, it's just those are things that you don't say. Yeah. You don't mm. say because again it's a very vulnerable moment and you know, and sometimes when you're in that moment you isolate. You isolate because yes. you're hurting and yeah. it's a grief. You you lost somebody. Yeah, you never met him, but you lost somebody. It's a grief and you have to go through that grief process. But yeah. I would say like, you know, just encouraging and uplifting. Yeah. And again, like, you know, reaching out because again, there's so many women that go through it, but again, are just so afraid. So I think when we are the voice and we share our story, our testimony, you know, it's like, okay, I'm not alone. Yeah. Uh, this is not just me. Like, you know, and again, like you said, it's very common. Mm-hmm. But again, you never think it'll happen it'll to happen me. It'll happen to me, right. For me, um, like you said, like uh, a lot of women isolate. For me, the way that I heal emotionally, um, I kind of tend to like isolate myself, gather my thoughts, like, 
for me it's like out of my out of sight out of mind Mm -hmm. um like there was it was like last mother's day when um you gave me flowers Mm -hmm. and for me it was like to bring back all those memories i had i had forgot about it yeah but to bring back all those memories it was it was probably it was so painful and um somebody else like at church gave me like a little gift like Mm -hmm. hey happy mother's day Mm -hmm. for me it's just like i would have preferred preferred maybe don't like don't remind me yeah um because that's just kind of how I healed (laughs) from when I had the miscarriage. I, I did like, I didn't go to work for like two weeks. I I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't really text anybody. Didn't really receive calls. Um, but that's just kind of how I healed. So Mm -hmm. every woman's different. I feel like, um, yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't want to talk about it. I didn't really want to talk about it. Yeah. For me, it's just kind of like, let's just forget. Yeah. Let's just forget about it. Yeah. No, when, when, when I give you those flowers, I give them to you. I'm so happy because I'm like, you know, for me, yeah. you were a mom. Yeah. yeah. And moment. I think so, too. Like, she said to her, like, she know wanted it, but, like, for other people, and it was like, you, you want to acknowledge, like, you know, right. just yeah. because I don't physically have. You had it. I yeah. was a mom. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they they were your kids. And yeah. some people don't acknowledge that. Like, oh, it's like, oh, you're a mom now. And it's yeah. like, no, I thought I was a mom before. Right. Even with before. my fur dogs, I yeah. thought I was a mom. Like, you know, because yeah. yeah. you get attached and, and you love them. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. like. No, but I learned right away because she busted out crying. I busted out crying. And, and I'm not one to And like I'm like, cry. oh, shoot, what, what, what do we do? do? But I was scared. <laughs> but then after that, I was like, you know, I didn't do it with Malice. And I'm, she's yeah. my no, baby I'm, sister. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Only because it was like from Lou. Yeah. And but that's funny because I, I had asked Lou, I was like, are we going to like celebrate red? Like, what do we do? And she's like, yeah, we'll get her some flowers. <laughs> And I, I was, was so like, proud when too. she, when I turned around, and I see, I'm like, oh gosh, I'm so glad I didn't get her flowers. <laughs> yeah, no, it hurt me because I'm like, I, yeah. I did this with love, but then I yeah, understood. Yeah. yeah, no, it's it's annoying when people, maybe for you that wasn't. Yeah, woman, I feel like all women heal di- heal yeah. differently. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I just I I have to leave. Yeah. I have to be alone with my own thoughts, yeah. and then when I come back, I'll be perfectly fine. But. Yeah, no, but I would I would hate when they would ask. When are you getting pregnant? When are y'all gonna get pregnant? Right. And then, and what? What do you say? Like, we're we're gonna yeah. we're gonna we're still practicing, or you yeah, know, or, like you try they to. We would be always tell a joke too, like, oh, we're gonna just keep practicing. Yeah. Like they don't know. People don't understand that. What if? What if it's not the woman? What if it's the man? What if? What if we're actually not trying to have kids because we know that our marriage isn't gonna last? So why would we bring a kid in? You know, there there's yeah, a lot of factors lot. that could yeah. play into this, like what if what if we are trying we're trying and trying and trying what if you don't know what if we've spent fifty thousand dollars on on yeah. trying to reproduce and we still can't make it yeah. that's disrespectful it's it's offensive and i think like a lot of them like <clears throat> in our case at least they don't do it intentionally but again when you're going through that those comments hurt yeah. yeah and like for us like expensive wise we spent almost forty thousand dollars trying to get eli so, and again insurance doesn't cover so this is all out of pocket so i yeah. told him and i'm like that was your college fund right there <laughs> like you know um but, no, but oh, wow. for real like it, it's expensive and again some like with a question like you know what do you say and sometimes i would be like well when god provides and mm-hmm. some people when you felt comfortable like sharing like i would share my story but with some people like you know or like you know, yeah. you know we're waiting on right. God's we're waiting on God's on God's promise. And that's, that's the, right. you would just leave it at that, yeah. you know, because it's it's a lot. You're having to, you know, dish out your whole but you life knew story. At some point you would be a mother. Did God you know? had given me a word. Okay. He had told me, he said, God, it's be still. You can't, but I can. Ooh, but I think yeah. I always wanted it in my time. I wanted <laughs> I like, like, you know. I wanted it when I wanted it, and it was like, no, it was when his timing was perfect. Right. I wanted, like, to control it, and he's like, you know, I got this. Yeah, yeah. It's his battle. Yeah, I remember when um, you guys had gotten pregnant the first time, you were, like, almost, like, planning it. You're, like, down to the Mm, day, like, I want it to be this day. I like this time. Yeah. And you're like, well, we have to try this time. And then she's like, God was like, no, no, so yeah. it's on my time. Yeah, yeah. By not yeah. your time. That's right. It's on my time. Hmm. And, Look, uh, no, perfect timing. In perfect timing. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> yeah, really. two weeks yeah. Right. <laughs> no, and it, it is God's promise because honestly, like that's the first command God gives mm-hmm. Adam and Eve: go and, go forth and multiply. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so. that's why I was like. God, I'm just trying to follow what you said. Yeah, like, you know, I'm trying to, do, I'm trying to multiply. I'm trying to help, you. <laughs> uh, help me help you. I'm doing the Lord's I'm trying work. To, yes. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? I'm trying. Yeah, that's right. 
so Eli's here now. Yes. How was your birth? How was like the story? I want to oh know. Oh my gosh. Here. So the birth, it was not what I expected. We ended up with a C-section. Okay. Little Eli did not want to come out. He was cozy He's in so there. Um, and so I, I guess my expectation was like, you know, you got a vaginal birth and they put him on your chest. Well, we ended up with a C-section. But again, he was safe and that was the most important thing. Right. We were, um, I was at five centimeters and I would just... That was it. We were at five centimeters for like 13 hours. My bag, ha- my bag had broken. They had put me at the max dose of Pitocin and oh. I just wasn't dilating okay. at oh all. Yeah. And so like, you know, for his safety and his heart was like dropping. So we're like, you know what? Let's just do the Let's C-section. Yeah. I'd rather have him here and not worry about the scar. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. How, how long was your labor? Like from the moment you started dilating? We went in... Thursday morning, we had him Friday afternoon. Oh, okay. but and I had actually started Wednesday because we went to the hospital on Wednesday because I'm like, um, contracting, and they're like, You're only two centimeters dilated. Wait, was it really painful? <laughs> yes, I was, definitely and dying. I was having like the Braxton Hicks contraction, so I was like, And I remember I would always ask, Well, what does it feel like? and they're like, You'll know. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. But I'm like, but I, I don't know. So they what does it feel that. like? And they're like, and then I'm when I had it and I was like, oh, I know. <laughs> Me too. I was like, I think this is my contraction. Style. I know. You know. know. How long did you go from like one or zero? Is it zero to two? Zero so to when, just, Wednesday, I was two, two centimeters. Two. And then oh Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday, that whole night, it was six minutes apart. And it was uncomfortable. But they're like, they have to at least be five minutes apart. And I'm like, yeah. I can't take this oh anymore. And I wanted like that whole natural delivery, you know, no epidural. When I got Girl. there and I was like, give me the epidural. <laughs> give, it, <laughs> give it to me. Yeah. Um, did and you see the needle? <laughs> did you see it? I, I did. Oh, I've, I've seen it before as a nurse. Like we do oh, rotations. Right. So okay. I've seen the needle. But at least for me, I heard like, you know, the podcast and your epidural experience was amazing. They tried wow, four different. times. The epidural? <gasps> yes. That first time they tried three times and they couldn't get it. I guess the space, maybe because okay. I'm short. I don't know. But the space was too tight and they couldn't get it. And so after like three, I said, okay, that's enough. But again, the pain was just like, so I was like, okay, maybe I'll try later. And Isn't they're like, okay. Time frame, though? I think like from your dilating. But you can't I was, like I was five time. centimeters at that point. Okay, so no, so yeah, I was so, so I still, still had yeah, yeah time. I was still had time, yeah. um, but because I was on a certain medication, I had a, a blood clotting disorder. I was like on a blood thinner, so they had to make sure I had enough time in between. So then they brought like the uh, the anesthesiologist because what they um, the ones that were doing it were CR CRNAs, so that they brought like oh, the okay. the chief the, the chief doctor, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it took him a little bit, but then he finally got it, and then after that we're like okay, but. I don't, I, it was just a lot. It was, yeah. it, but yeah. it helped the pain. And they're like, "You feel nothing." And she was like, "You don't feel my touch." And I'm like, "I mm-hmm. feel nothing." Oh, at that point, you didn't feel yeah, anything. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, but then still, yeah. like, we would change positions, prop. This was Thursday. Yeah. Change positions. Uh, Friday, Friday, Thursday night, going into Friday, change positions because they're like, "He's just not coming down. With the He's still ball. high." Peanut ball. They yeah. would sit me up on like what they call like the throne position. And he was just not moving down. Like you would feel him. He was still high up in my belly. Okay. He was just like, I'm cozy. Why why bring me out into this cold wet like no. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And so That's then awesome. at the time we're like C section Friday. Mm-hmm. He was born at two fifty eight PM. Oh, wow. Friday, May third. And he's the cutest little boy. Yeah. How long did it take you to heal, um, like with the C section? With the C section, um, it takes six to eight weeks. Oh my um God. But I think in the beginning, like, you know, you, it's like, it's major surgery. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is like right. abdominal major. They layers cut through seven and layers, layers yeah. and wow. it's like, well, you just had major surgery. And on top of that, you, <laughs> you have, have to, to take, take care, care of a little baby. kid, yeah, right? right? And it's just like, and you know, so you want to be everything, you know, you want to be the mom, but you're also having to try to heal at the same time. So it's hard. Kudos, like, you know, to all the, to all the yeah. C-section mamas because it's hard. Yeah. Wow. Were you like on bed rest for those? I was. Those so, you know, you can't do too much. You can't bend down. You can't lift heavy. The only yeah, thing you can lift, lift is the baby, which you take advantage of all that, right? You mm-hmm. know, can't do that, can't do it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, you know, just trying to even get comfortable in bed or just trying to get <laughs> up out of bed. Like, you know, you just need all the assistance since you can get yeah that's right Mm -hmm. so how has your husband been he is so excited he wanted a boy i thought eli was gonna be a girl 
um, because I had prayed for a little girl, but God knew what my heart needed. And so he gave me a boy. But he's so happy. He is so happy. I think he wants Eli to already be grown. So he wants to like play with him and and, like, you know, and do like the the games and the activities and the sports. Mm -hmm. Um, But he's so excited. Yeah. And we're all so happy. I think all the whole family, again, everybody that knows our journey is just so happy that Mm -hmm. we finally got our little miracle. Okay. So did you have like any, I always love asking like pregnant women, did you have any, pregnancy cravings like any anything weird nothing crazy um i think you you were just about to say what before we had our little oreo break yes um you were gonna sorry to interrupt you but i we you told me this yesterday that you you were craving like something oh i always wanted like the weird cravings not weird cravings i always just wanted like not junk food, but I wanted like ice cream. I wanted ice cream like all the time, all day, every day, okay. right? And so my husband's like, Gladys, you're going to give the kid diabetes. And I'm like, I'm not going to give him diabetes. It's just ice cream. And I would always say, babe, Eli wants ice cream. And he's like, Eli doesn't want ice cream. You want <laughs> you ice cream. And then he'd be like, no, no ice cream, okay? Like he's like, we need to eat vegetables. And he's, like, would we, give him vegetables. he's like, we need to make him strong <laughs> and healthy. So he would like cook the vegetables. And I'm like, I know. No, I don't really want the vegetables, right? Mm-hmm. And so then I'm like, can we get some ice cream? He'd be like, no, you need to eat like your. And then he'd be like, okay, let's go get ice cream. You yeah. know, he would give in, but he would try to be like, like First you know, because yes, yeah. yes, yeah. he'd be like, get your veggies in, like you know, because they say you know everything that you eat goes to the baby. Yeah. So he's like, I want him to be strong and healthy. And I'm like, I just want an ice cream. I just want an ice cream. I just want an ice cream, sir. I just want an ice cream. Did you like, um, did you really like, because I feel like I didn't like take advantage while being pregnant of like, you know, asking my husband for help, like asking him for like, you know, hey, I'm hungry at like 2 2 a.m. I feel like I didn't take advantage of that. See, I feel like I didn't really have that because some people would be like, oh, like, you know, you'd have this crazy craving for like something really far. Um, but I think just want, like we, I wanted certain empanadas and it's like a 45 minute drive Mm -hmm. and he'd be like, okay, I'll go get them. Like, you know, and I'm like, Mm -hmm. I want like that specific and that lemonade, like it it has to be from there. Like, you know, but nothing, it wasn't nothing like anything else planned. It's like some people be like, I had to go to New York to like get her like, (laughs) and I'm like, no, I I guess I was good. Yeah, I yeah. Guess. I feel like I didn't have too many pre- or like too- uh, peanut butter with pre- like pine- uh, pineapples I've and heard like some pickles. Weird stuff. Yeah. pickles. Yeah. yeah, I love no. pickles right now. That's and like, I think for me, me um, like I always wanted, like I didn't. It wasn't my normal, but like I wanted a deli sandwich because they tell you you can't eat deli meat, yes, right? And so too. all I wanted mm. was a deli sandwich. And so I don't much. normally eat a deli sandwich, but I think because they tell you you can't have it, you like you want, wanted you it. Want it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what yeah. about you? You didn't no, have any? No, I did. I was telling Blue because Blue's sandwiches. like, all like crazy sandwiches. I was like, me too. I, like deli. Like, yeah. yeah. And I would tell them, I'm like, what about like the boar's head, like turkey yeah. breast? And they're like, just warm it up and just in the warm microwave. Just warm it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. I'm I was like, no. Cold. At some point, like, I was like, all right, this baby's fully cooked. I'm but then my sandwiches. Some, <laughs> some people that I've seen, they, they ate it and yeah. have no problem. So right. I'm like, I don't know. But I'm like. Because of what we've been through, I'm like, okay, You're no deli yeah, sandwich. Yeah. Like, you know, no the deli sandwich. sandwich. Will wait. The sandwich yeah. can wait, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the first meal I'm going to eat, I'm definitely getting my sushi. I've been craving this sushi for so long. Oh my gosh. And I had coffee. I had given up coffee. Did you? When all, I had him. And so I was like, yes. So I was like, the first thing I want, and I was like, I told him, the first thing I want after I deliver is a hoagie sandwich and a coffee. <laughs> and a, a co- Starbucks That's coffee. So that sounds so good. And he's right like, now. okay, thankfully mm-hmm. in the hospital they had a Starbucks. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'm good. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. I was craving like uh, every night I would have an orange. It's weird because they say like you crave what your body needs. Uh-huh. So I was like, my body needs oranges she needed every cream? night. She needed ice cream then. <laughs> and I needed steak and shake, like specifically the steak and shake milkshakes. And there's not one by my house. So we'd oh, have to drive to like the so Mall of Georgia right steak and shake, which is like, I mean, like, 25 minutes. It's not too far, but... Okay, it's like an hour. I would send Brian. <laughs> it's like an hour, but, but I mean, it's not too far. It's for the baby. Yeah. Well, and um, you would always say, it's the baby, the baby. The yeah, baby. And I would say, like, the I baby. think the baby's craving, like, steak and shake or something. <laughs> no, one time, uh, fuimos a Taco Velos. You know Taco Velos, right? Who? Ta- Taco Velos. Taco Velos? Taco Velos. Mexican, like, taco place? She said no. who? Oh, she <laughs> said who? Girl. So she don't know. She taco don't know. Velos. Okay, well, it's this Mexican spot in Atlanta there. I mean, spots... 
spots. Yeah, there's everybody no spots. here in Georgia knows. I don't know where you've been, girl, but actually, okay. you've been in Virginia. Not, what do you mean? I've been <laughs> in Jersey. 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 Oh. Yeah. So mommy, brain. mommy brain, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mommy brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bueno, mommy brain. Was we went over there and I got what I wanted, but then I started craving the you know French fries. And they didn't yeah. have the French fries, so I told the lady, I was like, "Hey, can can you guys um get me some French fries?" You know, and she's like, "Guys, que ahorita no tenemos, um, that we don't have any warmed up right now." And then, and she noticed that I was doing this, <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh!" And then I could hear she's so cute. She's like, eh, "Calienten papas, porque si no el bebé se va, va a tener cara de papa." <laughs> Is that true? That's they like the they thing. have, like, you know, as Hispanics, they have the same, same, like, you know, if you don't eat, like, that craving that you have, the baby's going to have, like, something or something. My mom would say the baby comes out with, like, mouth open or something. She's like, oh, you didn't eat something that you wanted <laughs> or you didn't eat something that you craved. And I'm like, I ate wow. everything I craved. <laughs> I ate everything, yeah. That's, like, a real thing then. Yeah. I mean, y'all's baby came out fine. Real yeah. Real 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 Your daughter is gorgeous. She's she adorable. is I love adorable. Everybody loves my baby. She's real cute. Really Eli was Madrid. like, "Where is Madrid?" I thought I was gonna. Yeah, be yeah, there. he was all dressed up. He had like socks that were like he did. shoes. Yeah, yeah. Sock, shoes. We had them, and I was like, "You're gonna meet Madrid," and I was like, "But no, because you can't have a girlfriend until like you're thirty. So yeah. Okay. Do you think you're gonna be a strict mom? Do y'all think you're gonna? I don't know. So I don't, our parents, my parents, they were very strict with us. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Once you have your, it's a different story, right? Yeah, it's then different. you're, you're like, and, and you see what's out in the world, right? So yeah. you want to protect you. them a little bit. Yeah. I think Brian will, yeah, I think Brian will be more strict than I am. Yeah. I don't know why. I think because it's a girl, he's going to oh, be yeah. like very like yeah. organized with her. And I'll yeah. probably be like, ah, come on, let's go. You know, I yeah. feel like maybe. I'll be, I, I don't know. I feel like Joe would be like, your mom's having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at what age can they start dating? For Together. me, 30. Together? Yeah, I say that. I understand why parents say that. Like, oh, you can't date till you're 30. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sure he'll be way younger. But it'll be like, no, you yeah. know, your baby. You paid too much for this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. He's two months? Two said? months now. Two months, yes. yes. So have you gone back to work? Yeah. Or and so in Jersey, you, you know, um, in Jersey, we have what they call like a family bond. So mm -hmm. they give us after the eight weeks from the C-section, they give us 12 weeks. So I go back um September, end of September. What? what? Yeah. They do that? Yeah. And it's paid? Yes. And what? my husband too. He has three months. Pack your bags. We're what? going to New Jersey. We're going to New yes. Jersey. Oh my God. Right Georgia now. need to step up their game because <laughs> yeah. this so is not it. Eight weeks recovery. Uh-huh. Because of the C-section. Because of the C-section. And then 12 weeks? And then 12 weeks. So I'm like, I'm oh, what wow. they consider family medical leave. Um, oh, and it's okay. the That's bonding. Right. You deserve it though, guys. The bonding. Yeah. So we got 12 weeks of bonding. Do you have to like apply for that? That's like FMLA, right? Um, It's kind of like FMLA. Okay. It's through the through the state though. So you have oh, to apply through the state. Oh, you have to apply for it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, got it. Got wow. It. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. That's and they give it for the daddies too. So it's nice what? That's to have awesome. the help and the support. Yeah, How many you six have fun in New Jersey, being raised in New Jersey. Yeah. Are you going to stay there? For like, my husband didn't hear this, but I oh. hope to move back to Georgia. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we we're your family's here. here. Yes, my family's here. His family's there. But oh. we'll see. Yeah, wait, we'll that would be a fun childhood to be in New Jersey. Yeah, because everything's like close. Yeah, that's yeah. Gross. Isn't that where like Kate Arnold, the cartoon? Ooh, I think that was New York. Isn't that New York? I think that was New York. But New York. Like, like <laughs> New York. Okay. But New York is it's like close enough. Close. Jersey's New York's yeah. backyard, yeah. basically. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, when are you going back you, to New Jersey? To New Jersey? I, we go back this weekend. This week. Because we've been here a month. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Visiting. Getting some fun. I was homesick, so it was nice oh. to come home. Yeah. And your, your family yeah. really wanted to be with Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know she drove. Yeah, from New she Jersey. Drove. Yes. Shout it out was to crazy. Eli. Yes, Eli. <laughs> Eli, <laughs> Eli did a great job because it took us two days to get here. Because wow. it's a thirteen-hour drive from yeah. Jersey to here, and he did amazing. That's awesome. Good. Yeah. And we're driving back, so let's hope he does amazing <laughs> we're on the way we're back. back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Good for you. Thank I want to keep talking. I don't, I don't want to end it. How do you feel? How do you feel being here? Good, good. It felt. I feel like it was easy. Like you know, I I'm like nervous and sweating, 
felt like I felt easy, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm talking too much. Glad. No, no, no. Thank you so much. For I, being I have here. like so no. Many thank you for yes, having me. I feel like it was an honor. It was a thank true you. honor. Like you know, and again, I feel like God's used my trials and my mm -hmm. tribulations, my mm -hmm. you know, my pain, my storm, as a testimony to others. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So. Well, thank you so much. It's been an honor to have you. Thank friend. you for having me. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you too, also for sharing yeah, your right. story too. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. I know she's she just said she doesn't like talking about it. So yeah, it's Actually, I'm like, very private. So, but we need enough. we need more people to talk about it. Yeah, you know, be more vocal. It's, be more open. It's, it's hope for other women. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you had any um, appointments since I've seen you last? Um, our next appointment is next Friday. Okay. Um, and I think they're gonna do the ultrasound. Um, they go the the NST, uh, where they they show you the how with the baby. Yeah, oh, the three D, the three D ultrasound. I think that's what. It did is. you do a three D ultrasound? We did. We <gasps> did. So you saw him. You knew like how he looked. Yes, yes. Oh. We did it. Um, I think we were like thirty two or something like that. Cause I'm like, I want to know what he looks like before he gets here. And did he look like? Did he look he like does. He does. He wow. does. I need to put like a side by side because yeah. he literally looks like. And then there's one where he's smiling, and it's like you can see it's oh, it's him. Really yeah. Like, you did one early like, on, but sh I mean they look different. Like, yeah. When they're like, I would first say I'm like, you look like a little alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like that forehead looking like mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, forehead. I don't think it's a 3D. It's just um, it's just uh, an ultrasound. Like, is that how yeah. many weeks are you? She's 34 weeks. But you'll be 34 next Friday. Okay. 33, yeah. 34. <laughs> so you're getting towards the end. Yeah. So yeah. it's probably like a, a growth a, a growth ultrasound yeah. okay, to probably. see how far they're uh, yeah. growing or how much they're weighing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, the baby's kicking more, and then more and more people are assuming that the baby is a boy. It's a boy. So I told her yesterday. She you was like, what do you think? And I was like, it's a boy. And she's like, why? And I was like, they say the shape of the belly. Yeah. And I was like, it's round. But I was like, I may be wrong. So How was yours? Was it up, like round? Or was it was it low? low. At low? first, it was low. But then towards <clears> the end, he got very yeah. round. Oh, yeah. like was. Because mm -hmm. at the beginning, I was like, and like uh, people would like. People would stop me and be like, "You're having a boy," and I was like, "How do you, how do you know?" And Hi, they'd be like, you? "Your yeah. belly," and I was like, "Wait, and yeah, it's just of, the shape." And I, they I, say I, like I how they sit. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. huh. Well, thank you guys for sharing your story. Thank you guys for coming all the way from New Jersey just to come to us to our podcast. <laughs> thank you for having me. It was an honor, a true honor. It was a pleasure. Y'all go again, follow her. The topic right it was. Yeah, it's it needs to be more talked yeah. about mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah, sure. i think Absolutely. there's a lot of women going through it and they're not so i think it's good to share yeah yeah so thank, thank you, you. for yeah. the bravery and that's brave. yeah that's yeah. brave to talk all right like comment on this video share subscribe it if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and subscribe okay. follow us on instagram blue hernandez 27 19 uh whatever 91 91 <laughs> red is that's red hernandez mine is brown hernandez, 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 hernandez with two z's um Tune in or get tuned out. Bye. Bye. Bye.